Hey all, welcome to my channel. I'm Max. This is Max Mods, and today we're going to do issue 84 of Build the Classic Root Master. And we've got a lot of screws to put in in this issue. I have to admit, uh, looking at the issue beforehand, uh, yeah. So bear with me while I get this one done, and hopefully it will be an exciting video. So let's get modelling. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the first bit we need to bring across um, of the bus and we've got these kind of um, red things. Uh, I'll show you on a close-up camera. So let's go for close-up camera. These are the sort of red uh, triangular things here um, and we need to basically fit this onto the framework. So what we're going to do is get one. It's got a little locating pin and bob it into there it goes in and then we need to secure that in with some dp screws from the other side so flip it over and screw it in that's one screw in we'll get the second one in and then we're basically going to repeat that with the remaining three bits. So we'll bob a bit in there. And screw it in from the other side. So this is why there's quite a lot of screwing in today. And then we've got to attach these pieces to the upper deck. So that means we have to screw bits in there. We need to screw the seats down as well so it's going to be one of them issues where it's just time consuming doing all the bits but i like to do these videos in order i wouldn't want to miss out on um, any content really if i decide to build something on camera i'm going to keep it on ev doing every issue bit by bit so we're nearly there, just getting these bits, I'm not over tightening them, I'm just making sure that they go nice sort of finger tight with the screwdriver, because once I've done all them I'll be used to it. So it's a bit like um, a sweatshop line really, doing all this but uh, there will be days where you're doing something like the destination blind and then there will be days when you're doing something like this or there will be days when you get a figurine as well and there's not much content in that okay last screw for these okay so that's that first one done, just put that to one side because we need to then repeat the same on this panel of the bus. Now as you can see, this has that lovely curved section which is uh, famous for the uh, root master. So we're starting to see the dimensions of the bus now, um, which is beginning to be very, very exciting. I mean, I know the actual build is coming to an end and and everything like that. And yeah, it will be nice. I'm sorry to see, you know, the root master show that I mean come to an end. But, you know, we must move on with things and I've got this to keep me going. So, you know, it's not too bad. Ooh, that one doesn't want to slot in. Okay, I'll try a different one. Might be a reason why that one doesn't want to go in. No, this one doesn't want to go in too, so. Ah, that's it, gone in. Just a little bit of persuasion. So, yeah, I'll be um, sad to see the uh, Root Master show 
end because that's been my Wednesday nights for a while now um, and I really enjoy doing it but uh, things must move on and progress and you know be sad to when it go all goes though um, and it be yeah I think one issue 130 is going to be the hardest one even though I mean I haven't been there from the start um, with the Root Master show um, so I obviously came into it quite late I came in at 104 um, show um, so it's not going to be as emotional for me than it is for a few other people that are in the show um, I think it's going to be one hell of an emotional night though for some people which is nice you know it's nice to show your emotions and and everything like that so we are getting somewhere with these now just makes me wonder why we start working on the upper deck when we haven't finished the lower deck that just to me doesn't make no sense on this model <laughs> but yeah there must be a method in the madness no, that one's not wanting to go in that hole <laughs> a bit of gentle persuasion yeah it's got him I tell you one thing though when this root master's done it's gonna look superb it really is um, and I'm so glad um, I didn't actually choose to buy to build this actually I, I love being in the show and I was in the show for other reasons um, more of advice really and um, it was my wife that uh, decided to get me an issue one of it and said you know start building and I haven't looked back really and people have been so generous by getting me bits um, from the internet and and what they had spare so it's, it's quite emotional for me in a way really because everybody's been so kind and generous but that's the community that I've uh, come into and it's an absolutely fantastic community okay so we've done them now um where's the other one gone oh it's just down there okay so the next thing we need to do is we need to bring the bus across well not the but actual bus we need to bring the upper deck across because now it wants us to actually screw these these panels into place now just looking at this making sure I get it the right way around which I believe is that way yep we need to screw this into place so I'm just being very careful of that detail on the front and that one's screwing in with some IP screws so the IP screws are a little bit bigger but the sort of um, locating tabs just down, down here and that's where you screw it into and if you want to say it's a little bit difficult holding it and getting some uh, welly behind it with the screwdriver okay so we'll go for the next one I'm going to do one right at this other end here and then that should hopefully support the panel Uh, tighten up this other one right and we've just got another one to put in so let's put the other one in right, so this one just needs the lining up to go in get that in that's now going in 
Okay. So I'll just show you that on the camera. So the they there are the locating tabs that need to be screwed in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the front section now. So now this one is instead of having three tabs, we've got four tabs to do. So but I'm gonna use the sort of same method as I did last time. So I'm going to slot that panel into place. It's just nice when you hear the clicks of uh, models going together. It's so, 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 so satisfying. Right, so I'm just going to, I'm going to do the clip down the other side. Might not be able to see this on camera. That's on that side. And I'm just going to work my way up with the others. To me, I mean, I know what, what we're doing is just screwing a lot today, but to me, this is really starting to add, you know, it's really starting to add to the bus, you know, you can see it growing and coming into the model that it should be. Okay, so done that section now. Uh, so I've done both of them sections, but now I need to flip it around this way because I need to put in the seats. So let's work out how this goes. Right, so what we need to do with a DP screw, there's two tabs on the seats and what we need to do is to put in a screw into the bottom hole. So this is going to be rather, rather fiddly. I have to admit, let's get a bit more light on the situation. Right, so I've got one seat in and I've got umpteen amount to go. So I just wanted to see how that seat came together and it did. So I'm going to carry it along. So I'll start from the bottom. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine seats to put in place. I've done one, so we've got eight all together. I remember doing this on the lower deck. And then it will fiddle up. But uh, this is rather fiddly. In fact, in a second, I might have to break out the Oreo screwdriver because these are just not wanting to go in whatsoever. Whoa. And now I've got flying screws. I think the other side's going to be worse one because you're going to have to get in probably through the window just to get the uh, seats in place. It's getting it lined up with the hole. Once you've got it lined up with the hole, it's not too bad. You just line everything up. But it's getting that fish first line up to get it into the hole, which is the worst thing. Okay, so that's two of nine done. work on the next one ah, this one's going in a lot better I 
lot lot better, I must admit. Right, so that's three of nine done. So let's go for the fourth one. See if this is going to be a pain. No, it's not wanting to be. I think once you get the technique down, it's not too bad. Okay, we nearly got the fourth one in. We're nearly halfway. So that one was in. So now we need to do the fifth one. My wrist is really, really uh, starting to uh, hurt because you've got to do this a certain way. I think this one's going to try and be a little bit of an annoying one. It doesn't want to go in the hole. I've got it in now. Goodness knows how, this, how long this video is going to be. easy with the Aurea. So let's have a look. Yeah, that is a lot easier to work with. Than the wearer. So that is uh, one, two, three, four, five done now. So we're slowly getting there. Now the question is, can I get a screw in easier with the Aurea or I'm gonna to have to get it started? with the wearer. No, I'm going to have to get it started with the wearer. I need to be that little bit more accurate with the wearer. Now I'll come in with the Aurea. Looking very nice. Right, so three more seats to go. Let's hopefully they go nice and smooth. We can hope. Then, ooh, we're getting there. Two, nearly two more to go. That's in, as you can hear. Okay, that Aurea screwdriver really has helped it. I have to admit. In. 
get the Aria. Nice, last one. Get the Aria. So if you're not seeing this, you might just be able to see reflections of me uh, putting these in. And that is all the seats attached to the sidewall. Looking very nice. So the next thing we need to do when I've turned the page is we've already actually done this ahead. But it will put this front bit on. But what I am going to do, I'm going to add the front of the bus. Now I can anchor it to something. So I'm just going to place that in there. Probably not seeing this very well. But I do need to uh, change it around so I can get it screwed in. push that into place and then I'm going to screw it down and we screw that in with two IP screws so just come into this side just easier for me to work away from the desk near where the bus is the other side in should be a lot easier than the first side first screw shoes should I say yeah feel that now going in and that's gonna tighten all that up just like that now as you can see the front is finally on I'm really am chuffed with that. I really do like that. So yeah, so that's uh, issue uh, 84 done. Well, that's it for uh, today's issue of the uh, Build the Classic Route Master issue 84. And thank you for tuning in. And also, if you managed to make it to the end of all that uh, screwing I had to do, then thank you for watching the entire video as well. That was a lot to do. So I tried my best to talk my way through it, just give you a little bit more of an insight into me and stuff. So I really have got my fingers crossed that you do like this video. But if you do like this video, please remember to give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos. But as for always, stay safe and bye for now.